Hi students! So welcome back to my class and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about multiplying rational expression. Okay, for example, so multiply and simplify each. For number 1, we have raised to 5th power over 10 times 5 over x cubed. So when multiplying a rational expression, what we're going to do is just to multiply the numerator to numerator and then denominator to denominator. Okay, for example, okay, so just multiply numerator to numerator. x raised to fifth power times 5 is 5 x raised to the fifth power over. Okay, next is to multiply denominator to denominator. So, 10 times x cubed, so it will become 10x cubed. So, we can simplify 5x to the fifth power over 10x cubed. So, the factors of 5x raised to fifth power is 5 times x. Since um, the lowest exponent that we have here between the x raised to 5 and then x cubed is 3, so one of the factors of 5x to the fifth power is x cubed, okay, times x squared, okay, because 5 times x cubed is 5x cubed times x squared is 5x raised to fifth power over the factors of 10 x cubed is 2 times 5 times x cubed. Okay? So, since 5 divided by 5 is 1, so that is cancel. x cubed divided by x cubed is also 1, so that is cancel. Now, the simplified form of 5x raised to 5th power over 10 x cubed is, okay, we have x squared here over 2. So now, our final answer in number 1 is x squared over 2. In number 2, we have 7ab over 5 times 3b over a squared. So again, multiply numerator to numerator. So 7ab times 3b is, so 7 times 3, 21. Okay, next, a, so we don't have a here, so just write a. And then b times b is b squared. Okay? Next, 5 times a squared is 5a squared. Now, let's simplify. Okay? So, what are the factors of a, b squared? So, we have a times b times b. Okay? Because 21 times a times b times b is 21ab squared. Next, what are the factors of 5a squared? So, we have 5 times a times a. Okay? Since a divided by a is 1, so that is cancel. Now, our final answer in number 2 is 21. So, b, 1, 2, so we have b squared over 5 times a is 5 a. That's why our final answer in number 2 is 21b squared over 5a. For example, in number 3, we have 4x squared over 3 times 3 over 8x. So here, we can simplify already this one because 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that is cancel. Also this one, okay? So 4, we can simplify 4 and 8. Because 4 divided by 4 is 1, and then 8 divided by 4 is 2. Now, so, let's multiply. So, 1 x squared, or x squared, times 1 is x squared. Next, 1 times 2x is 2x. Now, we can simplify x squared over 2x. So, what are the factors of x squared? We have x times x. And then, what are the factors of 2x? We have 2 times x. Next, divide. So, x divided by x is 1. So, that is cancel. Now, our final answer in number 3 is x 
over 2. So that is very easy. Okay, number 4. So we have here x squared plus 5x plus 6 over 4x plus 4 times 4 over x plus 3. So what we're going to do here is just to factor first, okay, before we're going to multiply this. So factor first x squared plus 5x plus 6. So we can factor x squared by x times x. And then we can factor 6, okay? Think of a two number. If you multiply, the answer is 6. And then if you add them, the answer is positive 5. So that is 3 times 2. Because 3 times 2 is 6. And 3 plus 2 is 5. So positive here, positive here. Next, also, um, let's factor this 4x plus 4, okay? By common monomial factor. So, um, their common factor is 4, so factor out 4. Next is 4x divided by 4 is x. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Alright? Next times 4 over x plus 3. Now, let's divide or cancel. 4 can divide 4, so 4 divided by 4 is 1. Next x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is 1. So, that is also cancel. So, now, um, let's multiply. x plus 2 times 1 is x plus 2. Next, x plus 1 times 1 is x plus 1. So, our final answer in number 4 is x plus 2 over x plus 1. For number 5, we have here x squared minus x minus 2 over 3x times 9x over x2. So again, we factor first before we multiply. So what are the factors of x squared minus x minus 2? So we have x times x because x times x is x squared. And then, what are the factors of negative 2? If we multiply, the answer is negative 2. And if we add them, the answer is negative 1. So, we have negative 2 plus 1. Because negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Over 3x. Next, times 9x over x minus 2. Now simplify. So here, so that is cancel. Next, we can also simplify this 9x and then 3x. Okay? So because 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we have 3 here and then 1 here. Right? Then next, x divided by x is 1. So that is cancel. Now, Let's uh, multiply. x plus 1 times 3 is, oh, just write it first. Okay, so it will become 3 times x plus 1 over, so here, um, 1 times 1 is 1. So, we don't have the denominator anymore. Okay, now let's um, simplify our answer here. So, let's use the distributive property. So, 3 times 3 is... 3x and then 3 times 1 is 1. So our final answer in number 5 is 3x plus 1. And that's how we end our lesson for today. If you have more questions, so please comment down below and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. That's it. Bye bye.